By this time last night, City View Junior Senior High School head basketball coach Bobby Morris had taken his own life following sexual assault allegations made against him on social media. Tonight, we hear from one of the alleged victims of Morris on her reaction to everything that's taken place in the past 24 hours. Markeisha Jackson spoke with her to hear her story. She joins us now with more. Markeisha. Lauren, the victims and former students I spoke to today say they are first and foremost disappointed with the way this all unfolded. Bobby Morris was the head basketball coach at City View, and he also taught at the school. The victims I spoke to say these incidents date back several years and that the inappropriate behavior would begin with small comments, but then grew into something much worse. Several young women say back when it was happening, they did try filing complaints with the school's then principal and superintendent, but nothing was ever done. And now that Morris is no longer here, they feel they were robbed of any actual justice. It's normal to feel guilty about that kind of thing. It's... It's just, I feel like he victimized us again, making us feel bad. But, I mean, that's all I can say. I was, I was shocked, honestly. Yeah. We don't get any justice out of it or any closure. If you see some of the posts on Facebook now, you see, oh, he was a good coach. He would have never done this. All you B words are lying, like just totally coming after our throats. Yeah. The same people that were saying, oh, why didn't you go to the police? Why didn't you file a police report? That's why. We went and this happened. Mm -hmm. The guilt tripping kind of started. He talked about, uh, he was like, you know, I go to church with Coach Morris and his family. We all go to church together. I've known them for years. Um, he told me that, you know, he had a wife and kids. Uh, and that by that point, you know, I've started crying. I will say I do stand with them 100% honestly. They're never going to get closure. They're never going to get justice, and he will never stand trial. This was not the outcome that we wanted. We did not want him to kill himself. We did everything we were supposed to do, and it just kind of seems like it was all for nothing now. Those victims and former students say they still would like to see some kind of investigation take place in the district about the mishandling of all of this so that it doesn't happen to anyone else. They say if you're ever in a situation like this, go file a police report directly instead of going through the school. Now, we did reach out to City View Superintendent Tony Bouchon, who, tell, who told us he has no further comment at this time. Okay, Markeisha, thank you very much. Markeisha's full interview can be seen over at TexomasHomePage.com.